Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry about that. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. It is always good to be back. I got a good one for you today. Going to get into Ivan Redcash and uh, Jose Cepeda in a battle of shot fighters. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The Patreon is the only way to access the Lock of the Week. The Lock of the Week has hit four or five weeks in a row now. Uh, we make money every single week with a, with a killer parlay. I'm going to show you guys how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. You get the absolute best gambling advice in the world, bar none. There's no one else in the world better than me at this. I got the track record to prove it. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Follow them on. It gets you locked in a week. It gets you all the perks. It gets you the updated props. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you uh, request a video, one that I haven't done. Let me know what you guys want. I will get to it for you. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Red Cash and Zepeda, a battle of shot southpaws. This fight would have been interesting in 2018. At no point since then would it have been interesting. It's not interesting now uh, for a number of reasons. I, I don't think it's a, a highly competitive fight, and I, I don't think either fighter has world title abilities anymore. Though I do think um, Zepeda was, was once arguably the one, top one or two or three best 140 pounders in the world. However, those days are gone. All right, let's let's get into Red Cash, who I think is just shot, 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 shot. Uh, slow southpaw, lunges in, slow feet. There's just not flat-footed. There's not much left. Uh, he doesn't really throw much anymore. He very low punch output. He looks aged and shot. He looks like he's trying to survive. He still has pretty good timing on his counter shots, and he's, he's still got somewhat of a brain for the game, and that's going to be the last thing that goes for him. He's absolutely shot as a fighter, uh, but you can still see that the craftiness and the professional, professionalism isn't that held him to a that took him to you know a world class level where he you know he was in the ring with some of the best guys in the world. Uh, he seems to not be able to let his hands go anymore which is a bad sign neurologically. That could be a bad sign. I wish he wasn't taking this fight. I, I think he should not be in a ring. He's 37, which is old. I mean, it's not ancient, but it's pretty old. Um, he's stationary. He's easy to hit. Now when you hit him, he covers up a lot, right? Like that, The angles and, and the footwork he used to hit you with is gone. Uh, he wants to come forward. He, he's a come forward fighter by nature, but he's very, very easy to push backwards. He's easy to push around. Uh, he's one punch at the time. He's not a big combination puncher. He's not a big puncher, period. There's just not a lot left. Uh, he's a one punch at a time. Not a lot of combination. He he looks to survive now. And, and he looks to get a paycheck and he looks to survive. He doesn't muster up much offense at all. There's not much offense for me to even critique. If you go back and you look at his last couple of fights, there's just nothing. There's not a lot there for me to even... And this is what I'm saying. He fights to survive. Go go watch his last two losses. Uh, he's got a win over a 28, 25, and 4 fighter. I'm not going to – I don't even know what country that is. Uh, 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 Costa Rica. He's got a win uh, in Costa Rica. Um, but you go back, you watch the Duke and Baia fight where he gets the miles. You watch the Regis Pro Grade fight back in 2021 where he gets the miles. And that's another thing. In the last three and a half years, he's only fought twice. Uh, once was against Elvin Perez, who's 28, 25, and 4. And the other, he got demolished by Duke and Baia. If you look at his last fights going back this decade, he's got a he, uh, lost to Garcia in 2020. Danny Garcia lost 2021 to Regis Progre. He's got a win over Elvin Perez in Costa Rica in 2023. And then he he beat, uh, he got demolished by Jukumbayev uh, earlier this year. His last win of note, and really his best win, was Devin Alexander in 2019. But he's also got a loss to John Molina and a, and a competitive controversial loss to Arhanis Mendez. So he was never really that dude. He was never at the level of Zapeta. Zepeda's so got that come forward Mexican style, but he throws wide shots and he's easy to counter. I, I just don't think 
Ryan Cash is going to let his hands go up. I don't, I don't think he can. I, I think he's shot. Um, he, he, he wants to close the distance, and he's pretty good at closing the distance. He still has pretty good power. He still fights to win. He still has good, you know, when he fought Regis, Regis said that he's going to be a world champion. And now I, I think he's faded and shot, and I don't think that was the best version of Regis anymore, which we saw in Regis's, you know, next couple of fights. But he still has good feet. He can still slide in and out. There's still there's more left to him than there is Red Cash, and he was better than Red Cash to start with, right? Both at their prime, he's way better than Red Cash. He's still skilled at closing distance. He can still cut the ring off. Uh, he's a low punch volume, not a ton of volume. He stalks you down, stalks you down. He still has something left. Like he can still cut off the ring. He can still make life difficult for you. He can still land his shots. Uh, but he still needs to jab more, and he lunges in. He, there's his flaws in him for sure. There's always been flaws in him. Defensively, he gets sloppy. He lunges. He's always been easy to hit. And great fighters aren't easy to hit. Great fighters don't get hit a lot, and and, and that's what you're seeing here. Pretty slow, but he's got much better speed than Red Cash. Plots forward. Uh, he gets a little wild, and he comes straight in. So he's an easy to hit guy, but he's he's good at closing up the distance. He's good at cutting up the ring. He's good at cornering you, and he's got good pop. So. To me, this is a no-brainer. He absolutely wins this fight. Uh, I don't really see any world in which Red Cash can beat anybody anymore. And I'm not hating on Red Cash, but there's a time and a place for everyone and everything. And it's over for Red Cash. Oh, I'm going to be dead wrong on this right now. Uh, but if we pull up the odds on this fight. Okay, got it. Minus 750. You can put a two times bet on this. Jose Cepeda, uh, $200 bet would make you 26, 26, 27 bucks. Uh, this is a great bet to add to your parlay. This absolutely is a tremendous bet to add to your parlay. I, I, I'm completely confident, and I don't like betting on shot five, but one fight is completely shot, and the other is just normally shot. So, I would feel confident. I would probably even take uh, Zepeda by stoppage if you can find a prop for that. I, I do like it that much. Let me know what you guys think. That's what I got. I got Zepeda. I like Zepeda by late stoppage. I think he wears him down. I think he stops Red Cash. But let me know what you guys think. He's from stop by Juke and by. He's from stop by Regis. I, I do think Zepeda gets late stoppage. Zepeda can hit. Zepeda can still pr bring the pressure, cut the ring off. There's still a lot of things Zepeda can do. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. If they do drop the props on this later today or tomorrow, come over to the Patreon. Uh, files a month. I'll show you what props to bet so we can make even more money on this fight. But for now, just take him. If you stand alone bet, I love him on the money line. Uh, add it to your parlay. It's a great bet to, to parlay with. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, it is September 5th. It is my mom's birthday. So right after I get up the phone, I'm going to call my mom. Wish her a happy birthday uh, from Texas. To the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.